this weekend in the fine spring weather, I fancied a go at making a mock-up of a station footbridge. This one will only be in wood, a combo of some soft wood strips and thin ply pieces glued together with hot glue, but it will give me the chance of setting out the shape and some details of an overall construction before embarking on, sometime in the future, a proper weatherproof unit. Hi, I'm Warren Brand and welcome to another Linley's video. I have some pre-cut lengths of softwood of 10mm by 10mm square, as well as a collection of other dimensions ready for this project. First off, I want to form the top deck for the middle platform. This will have two over-track spans coming in from each side and the stairs going down to the platform. The four columns cut first give the overall height. I'm not working to any formal plans, just some scale drawings I've sketched out in preparation. The top deck and step treads will be formed of 3mm ply with support pieces underneath. I've tried to include some design details so the four columns will be set in a little bit and the stringers, which are the side edges to the steps, will align with the centre of each column. I've worked all this out on paper and we'll see how well this works out in practice. Some underdeck beams will add bulk and strength to the structure and will hopefully be similar to that of a wrought iron real station footbridge design. The corner columns now just locate in nicely to the cutouts. With the square, I can make sure the pieces remain at a good 90 degrees. The slight flex in the hot glue lets me adjust the joints a little as well. Thank you. 
moving on to the halfway up part of the stairs, which on most station footbridges usually included, I've worked out the geometry of the steps on either side so that they blend in well to the overall arrangement. I worked all this out on paper first and I think it'll work out just fine in construction. I could do with a small bandsaw. Maybe I'll invest in one someday for my workshop. Anyway, it's nice to work in the garden today, making use of the lovely spring sunshine. In front of me I'm using a short bit of steel angle iron screwed down to the plywood temporary bench outside. The angle iron acts like a traditional bench hook if you know what one of those is and saves me trying to use a vice or any other kind of clamp on my working area. cut out with the corner slots ready for the corner posts. The rest fits in underneath easily, bit by bit. So with the two main decks made up, let's see them in position on the platform. They're a bit wobbly at the moment, but with some more bits added, they will be rock steady. I'm really happy with that as a start. Let's crack on with the two half lights of steps. 
I have pre-cut the right number of tread pieces for the steps. I've worked out the geometry so I know the tread depth and the rise height needed for the angle of the overall flight of steps. I worked that out by using example photographs of full-size station footbridges and using a bit of maths. The little battens glued to the treads forms the riser dimension and I've kept these back about one millimetre from the edge of the steps to form a realistic nosing profile. All I need to do now is assemble the tread pieces with their riser sections already added to form a series of steps. If I've got the dimensions right, they should form the correct angle. The top step has little notches cut out to fit around the column posts. The side pieces of stairs are called stringers and these are formed by lengths of 10mm wide, 3mm plywood. I've left the lengths too long for the moment. Holding it all together by hand, I'll just add a weld of hot glue, bit by bit working along the length of each stringer underneath on the inside out of view. It's easy then to cut the strings to length with the correct angle, tidy them up and fit the section of steps to the tower sections. Hey look at this, it is coming together just fine. Quickly adding a few newel posts and handrail pieces, the overall effect can now be seen. This is one of the three sets of steps needed for the complete footbridge. The one for platform 3 and 4 will be similar except for the top landing deck which will only have one side open for walking, obviously. The one which will be for the station building area will need to be a little different as the height of the base is about 25mm higher than the platform height. More to do next time. Part 2 will follow.
Right at the end of this video, I have links to other videos on the Linley's channel. Do take a look at one of these if you have time. It would be great if you gave the video a thumbs up as well. It all helps to keep my channel ticking along. Thank you. That's it for this weekend. Thanks for watching and bye for now.